Sailor Tortilla presents Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Hey guys, I'm Sailor Tortilla and today we're going to talk about these Sailor Moon DVD and Blu-ray box sets that have been released both in America and internationally. We're going to look specifically at the ADV subtitled release, the Viz unedited subtitled and dubbed release, the Mexican release, the French release, and the German release. So that's five sets and uh, I still intend to get more. We're gonna look at Sailor Moon season one and compare these box sets to each other. From left to right, we are looking at the ADV subtitled release that was released prior to 2003 in America. The Viz season one uncut release with the new dub that was released last year. The Mexican Talk, Talk Box release, which is uh, 2011, I believe. And then next to that, we have the German set, season one. And then after that, we have the French set, which actually includes the entire season instead of the first half of the first season, as does the ADV set on the left. Looking specifically at the two American releases, you can see what I always complain about when I say that the ADV set is a lot more adult looking than the Viz set. I still miss that old blue box. And the Viz set, it's a Blu-ray, so it's a little smaller than the other ones. It also includes DVDs, Mexican talk box. It's actually a metal box. That is pretty cool. The German set is super pretty and super shiny. It's pretty similar to the Viz release, but I find that it has a lot more character considering the pose and Sailor Moon's actually doing something rather than just standing there. Following that, we have the amazing French box set. It has an awesome silhouette of Tuxedo Mask in the background, and you can see that they actually took time to make a nice looking box. And they go back to that blue color. It's not dark blue, it's light blue still blue. I miss the blue boxes of the Bandai stuff. So you can see, got a bunch of pink and some blue. I'm a fan of the blue. Let's look at the back. Okay, so at a glance, the ADV set actually has the same design on the back. And you can see that France, all the way on the right, went crazy in the art department. So again, at a glance, this set is a... It's okay, you know, a little more dynamic picture of Sailor Moon there and a little summary. Mexican release, we got this cool little circle going on, some Marco Abierto art. Most of these, except for the ADV set, use Marco Abierto art. That German release on the right of the Mexican release is pretty similar to the Viz set. And then we have France. You fabulous people. We got Queen Barrel, we got action, we have actual screen caps blown up. It's pretty freaking awesome and Tuxedo Mask is running to save, I don't know, save the American DVDs? I don't know. From this side angle you get a really good idea of the size difference between these boxes. Curiously enough, the two American sets both have the logo facing to the left, whereas the German and the French set have the Sailor Moon logo facing to the right. Now, I don't know what that means culturally, but it is something I notice. The most bland, obviously, is the Mexican release, which comes in a tin case. However, inside is another DVD case that I'm going to pull out for the purposes of reviewing this. Now, not that I would ever display this case outside of the tin case, this is what it would look like if you wanted to. Now we're gonna look at the cases where the discs are actually housed. Note how only the ADV release on the left and the French release on the right bring the entire season in the box. In the case of the Viz case, I keep the second half inside of the box. The box has an opening for you to put the second half of the season inside, but I'm only showing you the, disc, the holder for the first half because that is what comes in that box. I know that's a little confusing, but bear with me. So we have the ADV set, which comes with two large holders that are hard for the DVDs. They have nice little artwork from uh, the original season there. The Viz set brings one Blu-ray holder and it has space to hold the second half of the season, but it does not come with it originally when you purchase it. This is the DVD case for the Mexican discs. This is a lovely paper style holder for the German set. And when it comes with the French set, they really do go all out. 
and uh, again they have the entire season in one box otherwise you're probably looking at only the moon mercury and half of the mars box we're going to look at them all individually up close because they are amazing all right so here we're looking at the american adv release this was a subtitled only unedited release and adv did not release a box set for the dubbed and edited version we have a little picture from every single episode that's a little crazy this is the second half same thing on the back picture for every single episode discs on this set all look the same they do not have individual artwork Every set, every disc in, the, disc in this set pretty much says Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, disc number, and episode number. They're all that dark blue. Not very creative on the part of ADV. We have a little booklet. It's pretty scarce. That's about it. Everything's dark blue. They use this nice Japanese logo, but that's about it. These are all filled with more discs. Okay guys, so we're going to take a look at the footage for the ADV release of Sailor Moon. This one is notoriously the most washed out version, presumably because Deke, the company that licensed Sailor Moon in the 90s, didn't take care of the footage. Or, you know, it could be what I suspect to be a VHS to DVD transfer, but apparently it's not. It's just a really, really awful and really, really washed out version of what we all know and love. And at the end of the video, I'm going to compare some of the videos side by side, the most different ones. And this one really just, it doesn't look like any of the international releases, and it definitely doesn't look like the Viz release. By the way, if you're curious about how did uh, ADV release the dubbed and edited English version of Sailor Moon, they did it on individual volumes, no box set. So there's no set that I can really show you here to compare any of this to. And uh, as you can see, I only own three of these. Cause I have a bootleg set, but we're not talking about bootlegs today. But since I mentioned them, these are bootlegs. If you see them on eBay or Amazon, they're bootlegs, but they're dubbed, so hey. This is the Viz Blu-ray and DVD combo pack box. It does not originally include Season 1, Part 2, which I have stuffed inside, so we're only going to look at this and the art book that actually come with this box. We're going to compare this to the German one in a moment. Here's the case. You've probably seen this in another one of my videos. Everything here is real tiny, but you get an idea of the design. The discs all have individual artwork, albeit some of them are similar. Blu-ray Disc 1 has a little outline of Usagi. Blu-ray Disc 2 has a little outline of Amy. Ami, whatever. <laughs> See how they all kind of look the same. This one has an outline of Mars. And then the DVD, instead of having a white outline for Usagi, it's dark pink on light pink. Same thing for the DVD disc for Amy. And this is the only one that you can see real good, the DVD disc for Mars. They just kind of repeated the same stuff, but eh, whatever. Notable is that you have artwork inside of the slipcover, which you could flip over if you wanted to. Okay, so here's the deal. I really wanted to like the Viz set, but I just can't do it. Why is that? it tends to look really different from every other version you're gonna see. When I do the comparisons, I swear you're gonna be like, what happened here? According to Viz, Toei Animation gave them Bad Masters. Now, why did they give Bad Masters to America, but not to France, Mexico, Italy, Germany, Australia? I don't know. Maybe there was an issue when they were transcoding the video or compressing it in some way, 
but according to Viz, they got a bad master. They're the only people who supposedly got a bad master. And they had to remaster, which is why we have these really bright colors, these bright oranges. Sometimes it's almost neon. The first season set of Sailor Moon had ghosting issues. I'm not going to touch upon the issues that appeared in later sets. But you'll see that Viz has a very different version from every other country. Is that a problem? Probably. It bothers a lot of people. It kind of bothers me a little bit. And I understand that people have different tastes and different opinions, and that's quite all right. Everyone's welcome to say their opinion here. But the Viz set, I just feel like, is not really accurate to what was going on on the original, you know, cutting room floor when they animated Sailor Moon. It's really bright, and you'll see that it really does look really different. So if you've seen my other video, you know the coolest thing about the Mexican talk box is it has a button right here that if you push, actually talks. Let's do that now. Now they actually got the voice actress from the Latin American dub to record that for this Mexican talk box. So inside is the actual DVD case. The Mexican version uses the Japanese masters. Now if you know all the fiasco going on with the Viz set and their remaster, uh, you know that uh, the Japanese master is a lot better. We're gonna look at that too, don't worry. Oh, these are nice. So we have different artwork for every disc. You get a little idea of what's going on on all of these. It's uh, four DVDs in this Mexican set instead of uh, three for the first half of the first season for Viz. So you have a little bit less compression on each disc. These are really smooth to the touch and I absolutely love them and the print quality is really nice. All right guys, so in regards to how the Mexican version looks, it looks a lot like the Italian masters, which I don't own, but are notoriously, well, perhaps not notoriously, but they are known to be among the best Sailor Moon versions out there. They're very close to the Japanese release, and it's kind of a middle of the road between the ADV and the Viz set in terms of color. It's not washed out like ADV, it's not super bright like Viz. Um, it's really a great, like I said, middle of the road version. I like it a lot. There are subtle differences between the Mexican version and the other versions, but nothing as different as the Viz and the ADV release. The ADV release, we kind of, everybody kind of knows that that one is an atrocity, but I really do. I love, I love the Mexican version. I like the box. Really, really sells it for me. Now this German set is most similar to the American Viz release except it has these amazing sparkles. You've probably seen my video on this already. I'm gonna look at the discs. Da -na -na -na. It folds out real nice. <clears throat> we have stickers. Whoa. These are freaking awesome because they have artwork on every single one. And uh, like the Viz release, this one brings an art book. Let's compare that very quickly to the Viz release. Viz release art book, German art book. Well, at a glance, this one looks a little more official. Why do I say that? This one is uh, bound more thick than this one, which is just with staples. But a uh, little overview. Aw, that's already cuter. Wait a minute. <laughs> Episode guide, character descriptions, more character descriptions. Okay, let's see where the character descriptions on this one are. Songs, oh, okay, now we're gonna get into, so we have multiple pictures for each character. Oh, a nice little, that's the artwork from the beginning, okay. So this one has that artwork and then one picture for Sailor Moon, two pictures for Sailor Mercury. Uh, ooh, a fold out. 
Okay, it's different. We actually have descriptions for the bad guys instead of just, here's a picture of the bad guy just sitting there. Mm. But we have action poses for the senshi. Huh. Interesting. How many pictures do we get? We probably have a bunch for Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah. You know, upon a second visit, I actually have a reason to like the Viz set now. Okay guys, so quick look at the German set, which actually has two different video versions of Sailor Moon on it. What do I mean? Dubbed German Sailor Moon is on a inferior looking, almost VHS to DVD transfer looking thing. And when you're watching it in Japanese right now, we're looking at the Japanese footage on the German set. It is nice and sharp and pretty like the other European versions. This one is also very similar to the French and the Italian versions. So now we're gonna take a look at the, when you're watching it in German, it's actually a different video track. It's really interesting, check this out. Whoa, what happened there? Everything got dark and fuzzy. Yeah, this is an interesting release just because the video does this. Um, don't ask me why, maybe because it was edited for TV. I don't know. Um, the opening sequence is a little different. They have a different um, title card. Sailor V is in it. No new footage. It's just footage that's recycled from the show. Um, but uh, the entire, all of the episodes in German look just like this. They look terrible and it's weird, but it happened. And that's a strange thing about the German release. You can't actually watch it in German in high quality. It's weird. And then we have the creme de la creme, the Sailor Moon season one set from France. This is the collector's version. I got this as an amazing birthday gift. Looks so happy. My German set was actually fan mail too. A lot of these are gifts. Look at that. That is so cool. And we have characters on each one of these. Seriously, this Kaze company, I really like them. They made the German set as well, which I find to be very high quality stuff. All right. That is so cool. I'm really excited to own this. Let's look at the discs. All right. Oh, oh my God, there's artwork on the front and the back. Oh wait, oh, let's get to it. Okay, so this is season one on five discs. The front and back has the civilian and senshi version of each character. Comes with a, oh cool, really? A postcard? That's so cool. Comes with a postcard. Nice. And uh, two discs per volume. So this is actually in total 10 discs. Holy moly, that's amazing. This is so pretty, I love I love this. I love little Luna running. Run, Luna. Mercury, Ami-chan. Ugh, this is seriously the nicest set. Do do do, we have the Mercury symbol there. Oh, that was a bad sound. That's a bad sound. The French version uses the Japanese masters just like the Mexican version, which uh, at the end of the day, is probably the best version of Sailor Moon. Ooh, we have the Mars symbol. Okay, let's try to not make that, ugh, that terrible noise. Whatever. <laughs> oh man, these are so cool with the, uh, 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 with the little stars. I love the background stuff. Postcard, awesome. Again, the French version brings the entire season, not just the first half season. Civilian Makoto. Did I show you Civilian Ray? That's Civilian Ray. Postcard. Look at that. Love, 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 love everything about this set. I don't even know French, but I will soon by watching Sailor Moon. Aw, Minako, you're so cute. Postcard with each one of these, that's freaking awesome. And then we have Artemis. Ugh, this is seriously the nicest set. I'm gonna probably buy all the seasons because they're freaking awesome. And here's the footage for the French version. There's not much else to tell you except that it is one of the nice European versions, like the Japanese track on the German set and the Italian version. I can't tell you anything that I haven't already told you. 
But here's the footage. Hey! Okay guys, so here are the video comparisons. We have the ADV version on the left, which is the most washed out version, and the Viz version on the right, which is the most colorful. I figured I'd start with these because they are the most different. And now you're going to see that on the left we're transitioning to France. That is the pretty European version. So now we're looking at France and Viz on the right. So France we've got a more purple Luna and Viz we've got a more blue Luna. You can see there are detailed differences on what you can see reflected on the car. And in the background you're losing a little bit of detail in the Viz version. So now which version you like is up to you. I feel like we're losing some of Luna's face in the Viz version. Now we're going to roll into the two different German versions. You can see the bad German version on the right and the good nice European master German version on the left. You can see there's pink and red differences. We have a pink bow versus a red bow and lots of details lost um, on that dub of the German version. It's so weird that they have two versions. Now we're looking at Mexican version on the left and ADV version on the right. I know this can be a little confusing so bear with me. I'm just swapping between the versions so that I can see differences. I do really like the Mexican version there on the left. I think it's really pretty. And that ADV one is so weird. Um, now we've swapped into the German version on the left where you have black Luna. The ADV version still has a purplish blue Luna on the left. It's so weird. And that's now the Viz version on the right. So I kind of did this really quickly. Um, I feel like if I take too much time, it's confusing for everyone involved. Um, yeah, Sailor Moon. It apparently comes in different colors. And you can just uh, compare these all at your leisure. I hope this helped, and I hope you like the review. This is a super huge mega review. Wow, look at the timing. The timing is off. Oh, well. I am Sailor Tortilla. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. How in the world did this video become out of sync? I don't know. The mysteries of the world. We'll figure out next time. See you guys.